you're on. You, you frequently use you're the... You're not bringing up poker, right? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm over that. I'll get my revenge next year. Right. <laughs> and those of you who missed the poker tournament, it was a blast. We had so much fun. <laughs> and where's Garrett? Yeah, he, 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 he blew us all away. He was amazing. Yeah. So you often in your talks will use the iPhone as an example of innovation and how incredible uh, the resources that nowadays we have access to. And I certainly agree with all that, and, and I love my iPhone as well. But I often think of the analogy of uh, fire, and let's just say when humanity first discovered it, it probably took a while to master it and contain it the way we, we do now. Uh, so I'm curious what your thoughts are over some of the destructive elements of technology like the iPhone in the short term. I see people all the time just focused on their iPhone, wasting time looking at social media, et cetera. Hundreds of millions of people. What do you think the worst no, case is? I, I mean, I think, look, every technology, uh, you know, television. I, I remember, some of you probably remember this, most of you don't. All the complaining about we watch too much television, we're glued to the television screen every evening. All we do is watch television. It's going to destroy America. And kids won't be able to think and won't be able to do anything because they're watching television all the time. And, yes, yeah, some people abuse television. Still do. Right? How many of you have seen Netflix you know, nonstop. For, so it, it, it's possible. And, and, and to some extent, you know, a lot of people maybe do that. So, but it, that's where it's, it's your responsibility as an individual to figure out this is a tool, how best to use it, when to use it, how often to use it. I, maybe I'm not the best judge when it comes to the iPhone because my wife has a series of photographs from the most beautiful places in the world, all over the world of Iran doing this. <laughs> and now it's become a, a, a running joke. Everywhere we go, we do it. But she doesn't have to ask me. I, you know, it, it just happens. Um, but yes, I mean, uh, social media can, can be, quote, addictive. It can be, you know, very engaging and entertaining. And, and, but you've got to decide how much. And, and how does it fit into your values? And how does it fit into your life? There's no, it's not anything destructive in the iPhone. It's us. It's how we do it and how we use it. And it takes some maturity uh, to do that. And we have to think about, for kids, you really have to think about how much time and what kind of electronic media and what kind of engagement you want them to have and how you can help them build good habits around this. But that was true of television. It'll be true of the technology in the future, this is always going to be a challenge. Uh, so I don't, I, don't blame my, I don't blame my iPhone for my misuse of it, you know, sometimes. Uh, it's me, and it's on every one of you, and it's people have to take responsibility over how they use these things. But, but, these are, but let's not lose sight of the upside and, and the wonder, and I've often, you know, all the different things that something like an iPhone provides to us and... and there's more to come, right? There's more to come in terms of these kind of uh, products and these kind of innovations that is, 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 are truly wondrous and uh, that we, as believers in progress and res personal responsibility, the deepest sense of the term, uh, we should be at the forefront of advocating for them. It's like CRISPR. Yes, you could use CRISPR for bad things, but if we don't defend a technology like that, who is going to? So we need to be really... Uh, enthused and, and defending these technologies and defending the scientists behind them uh, and, and maybe helping teach people how to be responsible for their own lives. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.